Oh boy, your boy 50 cents at it again. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the I Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. So, Twitter and Instagram, uh, pretty much, it was mostly Instagram, so Donald Instagram was dragging 50 Cent for his reluctancy to acknowledge the death of beloved actor from The Wire, Michael K. Williams. And 50 Cent shared a disrespectful post today. Uh, His post on his Instagram said, Damn, if you didn't see Raising Canaan, check it out. That fentanyl is no joke. Killing the clientele. R.I.P. Michael K. Williams. Brands on Cognac. Uh, Leche Mendore. Bottle Rofa. <laughs> so 50 used that post to, as he will do, market and shout out his brands and his, you know, products. Of course, his TV show Raising Canaan, where it, this week, if you watch Raising Canaan, the the uh, junkies were killing themselves because on a batch of bad crack. So he was throwing a jab because, as we know, so far, allegedly, Michael K. Williams died of an overdose. So he says that fentanyl is no joke, killing the clientele. So people started to drag 50 Cent, saying he's disrespectful. You know, a lot of people were saying, you know what, you know, you have no soul. You know, people on Twitter said, 50 said, a guy on Twitter said, 50 said, my favorite rapper, but this is disrespectful as hell and corny. He is a big a hole for that. Can't defend this N word no more. Rest in peace, Michael Williams. Another person said, I lost a huge amount of respect for 50 Cent. That N word does not know when to stop. Another comment in China, 50 Cent is not a real human being, bro. It's just no way. So 50 Cent ended up deleting the posts. But then people were saying to themselves, why would 50 Cent do something like that? And of course, if you're on the outside looking in and or you're not old enough to know or both, you would think that 50 Cent was just being an a-hole. But the truth is, 50 Cent had beef with Michael K. Williams. And I don't know where you're from, but 50 Cent is a New York dude, born and raised. And New York dudes, especially dudes that were in the street, don't forget anything. And one thing about uh, 50 Cent, and I can also say that about J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez. If they didn't mess with you, and this is that New York mentality. J Lo's also from New York. If they, if we don't mess with you, we don't mess with you now. We not gonna mess with you in the future. And when you die, we still don't mess with you. That's just the way. That's just our attitude. Just the way we look at things. We look at things if we start, you know, oh my God, oh rest in peace, oh, you know, he was a good dude. So, so, we consider that as fake. So if you did not know, 50 Cent and Michael K. Williams, they had a beef. 50 wrote in his response after he deleted the post, he came back to Instagram and said he uh, shared a news story of him um, of attacking Michael for defending James Jimmy Henchman Roseman. For people who don't know Jimmy Henchman, he has been the one that has been accused of setting up the shooting of Tupac Shakur. And what also happened is Jimmy Henchman was sentenced to life in prison in connection with the death of of a G-Unit member and a close friend of 50 Cent's, Lowell Lodi Mac Fletcher. That was in 2015. So 50 wrote on this post, don't ever try to understand me. I'm different. 
I don't do all that fake love ish. And if you want to get the entire detail of that story, just go to in case you didn't know, I'm going to be having G post that. Um, also, this go this also takes me to J Lo not messing with Kim Porter. And when Kim Porter died, everybody was trying to drag J Lo. Why aren't you saying rest in peace? That's your uh that's your ex boyfriend's, you know, um baby mother. Show some respect. Oh, she was just jealous of Kim. No. J Lo and Kim Porter didn't mess with each other. And you're gonna get the full story of that. If you want the full details on that, go to the blog in case you didn't know that blog. Um, you know, J-Lo didn't mess with her and 50 Cent did not mess with, uh, James, uh, what's his name? Kevin Williams. So, uh, for, for just to put a little bit more backstory on it, uh, 50 Cent, uh, of course was managing the game. The game, I'm excuse me, 50 Cent had the, when the game was in G unit, the game was managed by Jimmy Henchman. 50 Cent uh, canned the game right on, on radio in front, of every, in front of the whole world. He said the game is no longer in G Unit. Well, Jimmy Henchman didn't like that. Um, you know, he, Jimmy Henchman came down to the radio station. Shots were fired, this, that, and the other. Like I said, we'll get more into it on the blog. Um, then after that had happened, uh, Tony Yayo later saw Jimmy Henchman's 14 year old son at the time and allegedly bat slapped him. And then that led to, um, uh, 50s friend being murdered, allegedly Jimmy has well, not allegedly no more. He was convicted of hiring uh, hitmen to kill, you know, Fifty Cent's buddy, and that's what happened. And, and that's what he he got convicted of, and that's what he's doing two life sentences for. So all of that sparks. So what happened is Michael Williams was a supporter of Jimmy Henchman. So that's the reason why 50 Cent is saying, I didn't really rock with the dude. You know, yeah, R.I.P., but hey, stay off them drugs. They'll kill you. That's basically what he was saying in the post. You know, 50 Cent's not going to now act like it was a love fest between him and Michael K. Williams just because Michael K. Williams has passed on. You know, 50 Cent grew up with my cousin, R.I.P., 109 Light. So even though I don't know 50 Cent, I've heard all the stories. And since I've been knowing, I was knowing my, my cousin all his life, it's like I grew up with 50 Cent because I used to hear all the stories from when he was younger. My cousin and 50 Cent used to take turns robbing each other from junior high school all the way to the end of high school. So my, my cousin knew 50 and my, 50 knew my cousin. So I know how this dude is, even though I've never sat down and broke bread with him. So he's not going to forget about it. And that's the reason why. Now, was it still tasteless? It was still tasteless, and that's probably why he deleted it. But trust me, 50 does not feel sorry. He's not going to be fake for nobody, and neither will J-Lo. And that's why I didn't drag her when she did it. She didn't mess with with Lady KP when she was alive. She's not going to mess with her when she's dead. And that's the reason why 50 put that post. So anybody want to get the whole entire detail? Also, the details of what happened with Jennifer Lopez and Kim Porter. I'm going to send those stories to G. Upgrade any stories she's got on it and then have her post it. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Sorry uh, for the stumbling. I'm trying to do it with no notes. <laughs> Peace.